Hello guys and welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can install the Dubfest OS based on Android 13 on your OnePlus 70 device easily. So to avoid any mistake, make sure you watch the video till the very, very end and follow each step accordingly to install this ROM successfully on your device. And the only thing required to install this ROM on your device is a unlock bootloader. So if you don't know how to do that, there will be a link on top right corner and even on the description of this video. You can go there, unlock your bootloader and continue with this video. So without wasting for time, let's head straight to the video. So my name is Rohit Nyochik Snaptech, so let's get started. First go to the link in the description below and you will be on this kind of XGA website. And you can see your room 13 Dubfest Tango. Just scroll down and you will find all the download links for your file and recovery file. So just first click on this Search Forge website, this room website where you can download the room from. And don't click on this download latest version because it's not for OnePlus 70, it's for Beryllium, it's a different device. So just go down and you can see the latest version over here. Like it's updated on 7th of November. Just download this version. And we'll start downloading in just 5 seconds, you'll need to wait. And once it starts downloading, you can go back to your website and just click on this recovery to download the recovery file. And it will start downloading as well within 5 seconds. And I have already downloaded both the files so I won't do it again. So after downloading both the files I will highly suggest you to keep that in a same folder. Or it will be easier for you to navigate along. So after this you will need to boot your device in fast boot mode to proceed. Just go to your settings first. Then go down and go to your system settings. Then make sure you have developer settings on as you can see over here I have not turned it on. So I will go to my about device. Then go to my versions. Now just keep on pressing this build number until turn on my developer settings. So as you can see developer mode has been enabled right now. So then I will go to my developer options. For that I have to go to my system settings. Scroll down you will see this developer options. Now open it and once you do that just scroll down and make sure this USB debugging has been turned on. As you will require this to install like this ROM as well as to move smoothly along this whole process. And once it's done you have to just power off your device first. And once it's done, just keep on holding volume up, volume on and power key all at once to boot into fast boot mode. And as I said, in the start of this video, you will need an unlock bootloader to install this ROM and to go along this process. As you can see, uh, my device sheet is unlocked. That means I have unlocked my bootloader. So once you are in your fast boot mode, just connect your device to your PC again. So once you connect your device in fast boot mode to your PC, just click on the search icon on top and type in CMD and press enter. And after that type in this command fastboot devices and if you can see a strings of number along with fastboot written beside it that means your device has been detected in fastboot mode with your PC and if not there will be some problem so you can just click on the video on right top corner of this video itself and you can just fix your fastboot problem and continue with this video once you do that and after that your PC will definitely detect your device in fastboot mode and once it's done you need to just put your cmd dot down so that you can see all the file names over here then just type in this command fastboot slash recovery and then the name of the recovery is recovery itself so you need to just type in the whole name recovery then type in dot img at the end because it's an image file and press enter and wait for it to get flashed and once your recovery file has been flashed you need to move back to your device once again so once you're on your device again, just click on this volume down button until you see this recovery mode option and then you can just press this power key over here and when you do that your phone will boot into recovery mode. As you can see over here we have booted into our recovery mode and after this use the volume down key to reach to this factory reset option then press power key to select it then again press power key to select it then volume 1 key again and this power key to select the format data option and as you can see the data has been wiped and once it's done just go back by clicking on this arrow key on top then click on volume 1 button to reach to the supply update option and press power key to select it then power key to select it again and once you do that your phone will be in ADB side load mode then now you have to connect it to your PC again and once you connect your device in ADB side load mode to your PC just type in this command ADB devices and you can see that our device has been detected in siloed mode to our PC and after that you will need to type this command again adb space sideload space then copy the name of this rom file over here 
just click on it just right click then show more options or just directly rename then just click on right click on this name then copy the entire name so it is just a little tutorial for people who don't know and are not used to this all kind of stuff so then you can just copy it however you want if you know a shortcut way you can do it you just need to copy the entire name as it is and then come to your cmd window and press ctrl v to paste it and dot zip at the end because it's a zip file and press enter it will take some time to install this rom on your device you need to just sit back and relax for a while until it gets completed and if you're new to my channel a sub to the channel will be really appreciated so after 47 percent you will see this total xfr 1.00x uh, so it's not an error of course your rom has been installed after 47 percent it gets installed there's nothing to worry about everything is, has been done successfully so you can just move back to your device as your room has been installed and you can just disconnect with your pc and just boot into your system before that you will need to do one more step which i'll show you right now so once the room has been installed you can disconnect your device from your pc then you will be on this kind of screen then just click on this arrow icon on top and then go to this factory reset option again by using the volume down key then format data again and once it's done then go back and just click on reboot system now as everything has been installed now and you can just boot into your Dovefest OS based on Android 13 and as you can see our system is getting booted as it's our first boot it will take some time for you to boot into your system so now we have booted into our system as you can see over here so I'll just set up it quickly so as you can see I have set up everything now so let's go to my settings right now and go down and over here you can see that we are running on android version 13 so this is how you can install the Dovefest os based on android 13 on your oneplus 70 device easily so i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please drop a like and if you're new to my channel please consider subscribing for amazing tech content like this and if you have some video topics in mind you can just comment below and i'll make sure to cover that in my upcoming videos so this is it for this video and meet you in the next one snap tech signing out